Congress of ACP EU. And the greatest thing about it, Mr. Speaker, is that it brings different nations together and they are able to contribute and discuss issues that affect them in the way that it affects them. Mr. Speaker, this, however, is an opportunity with the expiry of this treaty. It's an opportunity for ACPU to actually take the advantage and have a more structured, become a more structured organization. Mr. Speaker, the reason why I say this is there's no permanency in membership of, uh, of, of ACP EU. I attended a meeting, one meeting. I was never invited for the next meeting. Other members then attended. So, Mr. Speaker, then it kills continuity of discussion and uh, implementation of some of those ideas that, uh, wonderful ideas that come up. So, if we uh, agree as a parliament to actually renew this treaty, we must take that opportunity to have a more structured organization. Mr. Speaker, I'd also like to say that if, if, uh, if, if you compare the membership of ACP EU with the membership of Pan-African Parliament, Mr. Speaker, you'll find that Pan-African Parliament is more impactful on our issues. Why? Because members, for example, are able to serve for five years. So they are able to see through, to, 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 introduce, uh, um, uh, to introduce a topic or an idea and able to see it through to implementation because of the five years length of time, which, however, misses in this organization. Mr. Speaker, I want to say that I know that we must sit as a parliament to agree as to whether we should go on and renew this treaty. But I would urge parliament that if it becomes a more structured organization, it is indeed useful and will still be helpful to our cause. Mr. Speaker, with that, I thank you and I support. Rosa Buyu for that um, contribution and on a good point, I hope those who are participating Please do, you are recognized. Thank you very much, uh, uh, Mr. Speaker. And I too, on onset, uh, support the, the motion. Mr. Speaker, <laughs> Millie, Honorable Millie, Senior Council, has just reminded me that you can be married and still not reproduce. So uh, <laughs> that aspect of being married for reproduction is what she was uh, trying to correct. Thank you very much. Uh, Mr. Speaker, we are aware that the treaty has expired, for the ACPU. Mr. Speaker, it is an opportunity for member states to restructure it along the Pan-African particularly, so that Pan-African Parliament, which is uh, five years, because uh, with the current structure as it is, there is lack of permanency. And having different people coming in at a given time does not 